Bo. Hello. Uh, oh, hold on a sec. My controller got all tangled up on something. Ugh. Okay, um, so I have already streamed this game, but recently a mod actually came out for this game. Uh, a mod that makes this game a lot more tolerable. And I wanted to show it off. Because as far as Resident Evil games go, uh, this is easily one of the weakest, especially in like the survival horror Resident Evil aspect. But, um... I've I've already tested it and it is working so, and we're gonna have fun with this. We're gonna play with uh, with Wesker mode, which is an official mode for the remaster. It basically turns Billy into Wesker. He still has all of Billy's voice lines, uh, ex uh for the cutscenes and stuff, but he has Wesker's voice for like everything else. So he has special abilities: Shadow Dash and Death Stare. So, yeah, he can dash and do a special attack. A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City. A solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island. An island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise Umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. The more pressing question is, where did all of Rebecca's character development go between this and the remake? Huh? Can you answer that question, game? Do you think so too? Yeah. Do about it. Hold off for a while. I wonder how those are and how you react to this. The really crazy thing, which makes even less sense... This game was released six months after the remake. Rebecca and Wesker's voice is different. Rebecca's character development is gone. I, I don't understand. What the hell happened? as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure. Emergency landing. Emergency landing! Yeah, there, there's a lot about this game that's not good. I, I can't say I outright hate it because it has it has its moments, but it is easily the weakest entry in the classic Resident Evils. A dead body, ladies and gentlemen. Wowzers! Hmm? What happened? Court order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex-lieutenant, 26 years old. Court-martialed and sentenced to 
death, July 22nd. Prisoners to be transferred to the Ragathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think Enrico's voice is the same from Remix, which brings up even more questions. Why change Rebecca and Wesker's voice? I, I don't understand. Door to safety is shut. There is no turning back. Oh god, let me out of our Resident Evil Zero. Um, so it's gonna take me a little bit to get reacquainted with Resident Evil Zero's controls. Because they are different a little bit from remakes. Uh okay, that's the map button. Square is uh Square brings up the inventory where when it should be tri when it's triangle for like everything else. Oh well, I'm using an Xbox controller, but it's X on here. Uh, hey, look! For Wesker mode, she gets a special outfit and edgy red eyes. Ah, uh, you will see what the mod changes in a minute, Spook. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? The government has announced that have Hello, ma'am. Got a bite to eat? Now, unfortunately for Res Wesker mode, Rebecca does not get any cool or funny powers. She just gets a different outfit. We're also not going to bother reading any diaries since I've streamed this game before. Okay, so what this mod changes when you go to a ink uh to a typewriter? Use item box. Oh. Look at that. An actual working item box in Resident Evil 0. It's awesome. Now, um, this mod actually comes with the, uh, because the mod creator felt like having both an item box and the ability to leave items was kind of overpowered. I honestly don't care. Uh, like, it's RE0. I don't really care about balance. So, um, you do have the option to turn it on. 
So I do have the ability to leave items and store items in the item box. And this is at any typewriter you want, not just this one. Oh, it's him. Hi, Billy. Billy. Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been, Been fantasizing, fantasizing about, about me, have you? You're the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, stars. no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around, so I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. What handcuffs? Good shoot, you know! <sighs> Edward! Nice entrance. Are you alright? What happened? Worse than we can't. You must be careful, Rebecca. The, the forest is full of z zombies and monsters. Zombies and monsters. Uh, uh. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, because this takes place before uh, the mansion incident in the remake. Uh, that guy in the dress that was singing opera commanded his leeches to attack the Ecliptic Express. And everyone that got killed turned into zombies. Now, the item box, well, it it doesn't fix every one of this game's problems, but it fixes one of the biggest, and I'll get to that soon. Oh, excuse me, sir. This is Rebecca. Over. Enrico! Hello! Can you read me? Please respond. Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. We've obtained detailed information on the fugitive from a document found in the wrecked wagon. Billy Cohen killed as many as 23 people. Over. 23 people? We have also confirmed that he was institutionalized, so keep your guard up. Can you hear me, Rebecca? Over. Stay alert, Rebecca. He wouldn't think twice before killing you. Enrico! Captain! Hello? Hello! Uh, what was I gonna say? Hi. Bye. It 
It's going to be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. <laughs> All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? Okay. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Sir. Sir? <gasps> nice. Yeah. Hello, Mimicry Marcus. And goodbye, Mimicry Marcus. Yeah, un forestero! De cohi! De trust the ti, imbecile! Damn, Billy's so cool. Isn't he, guys? Are you okay? Yeah, where'd Wesker go? I don't know this guy. Who is that guy? You know, oh. that, that man. What's going on? Who's controlling the train? Go and check out the first engine car. Listen. We gotta cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't. Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. All right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. If you find anything, give me a call. All right? I'll go. Fine. Woo! So we got both characters now. Come on! Fine. Fine! Uh... You go that way. I'll go. Fine. You go that way. I go home. Oh, wait, should I give? Hmm. I don't know how good his special attack is. So maybe I should give him some bullets, especially considering. Rebecca's not going to be much use up ahead. So I'll do that. He can keep the knife. Oh, I guess this would probably be a good time to show what he can do. Uh, Alright, so... How do I do your dash? Do I need to ha not have a weapon equipped? This is your chance. Roger. I don't need this. Roger. 
All right, that's the death stare. There we go. Zoom. And then if you hold R1 and X. That's his death stare. Kind of neat, I guess. Okay, so whoever you send up to the roof to do that ends up stuck in this little room. And the other person has to get them out. Now, the funny thing is, right here, if you send Billy in, in here, it's preventing the doorknob from turning. You could probably get it out if you had something sharp. Billy starts with a knife, and your first thought would probably be, oh, I could use the knife to unjam it, right? Err... Uh. Wrong-o. That would be way too smart. Uh, never. I'm pretty sure Capcom has forgotten Billy even exists. Goodbye, boys. <sighs> oh, wow, it got him way back there. <sighs> Holy shit. that thing up there. I, I I did not expect the range on that to be that far. Oh. I keep hitting Y because that's the inventory button in every other Resident Evil game.
Yeah, it's his brand. He has special eyes. Oh, for those of you who don't know, Billy is incapable of mixing herbs. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, Spook, in every single other Resident Evil game, every character can mix herbs, and they're not a medic. Why can't Billy? God, that is so awesome. You, you guys have no idea how invaluable an item box is in this game. Yes, man with gun in Resident Evil 3 can mix herbs. Eh, pretty much everyone besides Billy can. I'm sure it's nothing. So I think the way this game, well, this part later on works, is as long as you've discovered an item, it will pop out of the train later. So as long as we do this, then we're fine. Oops. That's going to take me forever to break that habit. There's the hunting gun. Another one of the fine mechanics of this game is that special weapons all are two-handed weapons in this. Alright, let's see if I can do this. I like how it landed perfectly enough that it broke each glass compart uh, part of it. So say hello to Stinger. Ow.
It is very silly, yes. Ah. Did I get it that time? How am I still on fine? Okay. I, I am never gonna break this habit. <laughs> I keep it I keep hitting the switch button because that's the default button for I inventory in every other game. Well, we beat the first boss completely with just the knife. Bosses in Resident Evil Zero are probably some of the weakest in the series as well. Unfortunately. I mean, you got this, you got the giant centipede, the bat. The bat's a terrible boss, by the way. Okay. Now Rebecca's got the ice pick and she can break out of here. Let's get out of here. He didn't break out. I thought he would. Come. Roger. Hey there, Becky. Uh, so having her set to attack right now is probably for the best. Honestly, one of the cooler parts of this game is when you're with Rebecca and you're, like, shooting at zombies. It's honestly kind of cool. Da -da 
there's the gas. There's a gold ring, which we will need. Where are the bottles? I know there's empty bottles around here somewhere. Now, hear me out, guys. If they were to actually remake Resident Evil Zero and address all its problems and make it co-op, I think this would this game would be a blast. I mean, they have said that remaking uh, the, uh, the Res Resident Evil 1 again isn't completely out of the realm of possibility, so... Take that as you will. And here it is, one of the worst aspects of Resident Evil Zero. This fucking thing. Oh, well, there's the bottles. Metroid, I don't even know how they would go about trying to fix Resident Evil 6. I feel like they would have to just go, like, fresh start. Okay, so now we have that. Yeah, just don't do it. Did I get it before it? Oh, no, I didn't. <sighs> that 
That's dumb. I stopped him before he bit her. Stay there. Roger. Anyone else want to come to life? Use the hook shot here. Hey, buddy, and goodbye. Yeah, we're doing Wesker mode for fun since I've already streamed this game. Come. Roger. So now that we've used that hook shot, we don't need it again for like two hours. Now, if we were playing this normally, we would have to lug this over to the start of the trading facility, keep it there until we need it, and then cart it over to the, the church where we need it again. But with this mod, we can just do this. God, this is this is so awesome. Seriously. Just adding a simple little item box makes this so much more easier to digest. Did I go the... I think I went the wrong way.
Delta team. This is Delta team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. Hey, wait a minute. Make any sense? How was the T virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes, to. Huh? What happened? Man, imagine death by leeches. What a way to go. The train line, the derailer crash. I gotta stop this thing. Uh, Rebecca will stay behind. I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. Then you apply the brake from here, okay? All right. Billy. What? Be careful. Yeah. So, uh... One of the problems right here with this game is this part right here. Do you see how that key is shining just off in the distance? Just almost off screen there? That key card is very easy to miss. And if you don't pick up this key card, you can't use the, th the brake system in the back of the train. So if you forget it, you have to run all the way back here to use it again, uh, to grab the key card. Excuse me, boys. The windshield wipers will only work for three more minutes, yeah. I better stop dawdling. Hey, Edward. Bye, Edward. If you send Rebecca this way, you do get a brief cutscene with her seeing the zombified Edward. Oh, wait, this is the wrong way. Remember to shut the door after you. All right, sixty seven. Uh, there we go. This is Billy. 
I've engaged the control device for the brake. Over. Roger. I'll put the brake on now. Okay, uh... There we go. Mass. And everyone died. The end. Rebecca? Rebecca? I'm here. Are you alright? Hey, you managed to stop the train. Yes. We managed. Yeah? We have to find a way you out. think? <sighs> we managed to avoid drowning. Why is this... What's with the... Right. Feels like the pick... The pickup hitbox is kind of wonky. I'm not even going to bother taking the hunting gun, because it sucks. And we're going to get a real shotgun soon enough. Research Center? <gasps> the first general manager, Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention. Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train, too. What? Revenge on Umbrella.
<laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> I like how Billy and Rebecca are just so irrelevant to this whole plot going on in the background. And they're basically in the dark completely. I do really like the atmosphere of the Umbrella Training Facility here. It's almost as good as the Remake's Mansion. There are things that this game does good. It's just, it's also bogged down by a lot of bad things. Now, if we weren't using the mod right now, I would have to just leave my items, especially the hookshot, in this starting area, because the hookshot is important later on. Need this. So Rebecca, you wait there. Now we don't want to go all the way to the end of this hallway because it'll make a leech man spawn. And we want to try to deal with leech men as little as possible. Urinal is unspeakably filthy. Speaking of which, but we can just leave this one alone.
Come. Roger. I don't need this. Roger. Becca, you wait by that door for me. <gasps> oh, I can't run up the stairs. <gasps> I cannot run up the stairs. But I'm goddamn Wesker. I will take the crank handle. Oh! Oh my god, that scared me! This way! Fine. Bye. So something that makes this game a little more to tolerable to play is bringing Rebecca with you, since she can carry more. I uh, she can help to carry more items. I think a lot of the way people play this is they realize Rebecca is uh, uh, about. Her defense is about paper fin compared to Billy. So they'll probably get to the training facility, realize how weak she is, and then just leave her there. And then do a lot of backtracking because they're only using one character. And I know because that's how I first played this game. Uh, we'll come back for these herbs. And also, uh, another, uh, yet, yet another problem with this game. Uh, when you open, uh, bring down the observatory later on and gain access to the church, um, if you want to cart over all of your supplies to keep it going throughout the whole game, you have to backtrack through the facility, which is get the zombies end up replaced at that point by the Eliminators, the Monkeys, which are some of the worst enemies in the entire series. 
So now if you want your items, you have to deal with the monkeys. Stay there. Okay. I cannot leave it there. Okay. Something like this, we can just leave down here. You also have to be careful where you leave items, because you can end up putting them behind a background object, and it can be impossible to find. Come. Roger. Stay there. Roger. Come. Roger. Alright, so we need the lighter for that. Billy starts with a lighter, but his lighter has no fluid. So we need to find lighter fluid for it. Oh. 
Okay, Rebecca, you wait I there. I need this. Roger. It's a winch control for a lift. There's a square-shaped hole in the panel. All right, Rebecca, up you go. Scissor tails. Introduced in this game. It's a solidly built clock. The minute hand is missing. So you have to send Rebecca up. Because otherwise the elevator's too heavy for Billy if she tries to send him up. Ah! Ah! Oh, red herb. Uh, uh, camera angles! So that door is locked, currently. We'll wait for uh, Billy to come back before we go in there. Oh, where'd you come from? Get out of here. Okay, so I should go ahead and deposit the microfilm at the save box, at the item box. Although save box is appropriate, considering. Hey, Becky.
white statue. And the grenade launcher. This is your chance. Okay. So we do not need the grenade launcher for now. Rebecca, I want you to give all of your handgun ammo to Wesker. Stay there. Okay. It's a machine for winding the chain. Let's start it up. There's a fire key. Oh boy. So this is Centurion. Now, this is another boss you have to fight solo since Rebecca ends up captured by it. And it's really stupid because there's an area here where you're completely safe. I can try staring at it. I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if that did anything. Oh, it 
it does in fact hurt it. <laughs> okay. Rebecca. Are you all right? Yes. Thank you. Uh, as far as I know, he death stare is not a thing in any other game. But, uh, if you stand right here, Centurion cannot harm you at all. And you can just pelt him with the handgun. It's, it's very silly. Alright, so we got our fire key. Okay, so we got the fire key now, so we can open up the fire doors. <sighs> Goodbye, sir. A trophy for 50 kills with a fully charged stair. Nice. Right, there's the lighter fluid. Okay, so now he's got a working lighter again. So we're going this way next. Could go in there. Um, let's do this first. Amazing. Uh. 
I don't need this. Okay. All right, grenade rounds. The Book of Good. Also, something really funny about this game, I remember what I wanted to say earlier. There are DLC costumes. They're almost all exclusively for Rebecca. And it's kind of ridiculous. I, I think Rebecca has the most co uh, alternate costumes in this game than, like, any other protagonist in the series. Because she's got, like, ten, like, Capcom shirts. And then, like, ten other costumes. And then Billy... He's got he's got three. He's got the Wesker outfit, uh, well, not counting the Wesker outfit, uh, the smooth criminal one, uh, the one that makes him look like Cody, and one other one which I can't remember. So, uh, shows how much Capcom <laughs> really cares about Billy Cohen. Stay there. Roger. Is there another desk, or do I have to push this one still? No, I still gotta push it. Okay, now that we've got the Iron Needle, we can... Hold on, should we drop stuff off? We probably should. But, um, another problem with just dropping items off is that each room, uh, depending on the size of the room, depending on the room size, you can only leave so many items inside of a particular room. Once you reach the limit for that room, that's it. You can't put any more. So normally what I do is once I'm out of room in like the foyer, then I would have to start leaving stuff here in this room.
I don't need this. Roger. So we leave the fully formed angel statue on here now. Come on. Although, you know, I gotta say, the pathfinding for your partner does seem to be really good in this game. Like, I should hope so. So, 8 o'clock. Right, and I believe it should be 8.15. Bye, Rebecca. Do you really spook? Would it really have been fun? Or would we just be suffering together? There's the other microfilm.
Alright, here's probably a good place go. to go our separate ways. I'm gonna move Rebecca over to here. Both of these, and we're gonna go this way. Since we solved that puzzle, this door opened at the end of the hallway now. Honestly, it's probably for the best that the co-op is completely broken for that game. I I don't really understand how the whole weapon and weapon crafting thing works for it anyway. So we need that file. It's really more that we need the disk than anything. I think like the coolest part of being able to of if if we could have actually done the co-op of Dead Space 3, uh is for the it would would be for the stream to see like the two separate because both Isaac and his partner get different different hallucinations. So if his partner could be hallucinating something that Isaac's just not seeing at all, which I think would have been really interesting. And then oh no, Leechman. But we never have to come back here again, so it's not a problem. I tell you, they went hard on that flute for, for the leech man. Two D. There is a file over here. So that's two. Wait, Wait no, that's deep. 
Okay, so I've got this right. That should do it. Oh, wait, I can go this way, but there's not much point because I think I need to use the lift upstairs first. Upstairs first. Stay there. Roger. This is your chance. Okay. Okay, so we can go over that way. So, increments and incendiary rounds. Okay, so it ended in checkmate. Rebecca. I don't need this. Roger. There we go. The Book of Evil. I to tell her to come with me. This is your chance. Okay.
first aid spray. Go ahead and grab these blue herbs. Now, this thing here, this canister, is something that Rebecca can put into her mixing set. And if you don't do this now, or if you don't know to do it, and you send a wrong person in a situation later, it can result in a lot of backtracking. Looks like some kind of chemical. Put it in the mixing set. Yes. away. Let's go check out the observatory real quick. Oh, I see her scissor tails. Stay there. Okay. Your chance. Roger. Stay there. Roger. Alright, so we're going to have to find three tablets for this thing.
I don't need this. Okay. We're actually... Let's make Rebecca do it. That's a funny visual. Let's go. I don't need this. Roger. You wait there, Becky. <sighs> Spiders. Did I get... Oh, thank goodness. I did not get poisoned. Is there another? There is not. Good. Okay, so that way it'll be clear when I take Rebecca through with me. Actually, Becky, I think you're going to need some. Hmm. That's all many I, you can hold, huh? Alright, let's go with that. Suppose we can save again. Has been a little while.
Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. It's a large air vent. Rebecca could probably reach it if she stood on Wesker's shoulders. This is Resident Evil Zero. I'm glad I could be of service. Don't you recognize Billy? I'm playing with a mod that released recently that actually adds an item box to this game, which makes it a lot more tolerable. Alright, so we're going to take this opportunity to move Billy. Because once Rebecca does this puzzle, she's going to end up in trouble, and... Eliminators are going to start flooding through the areas. So the less we have to deal with the Eliminators, the better. This is really just circumventing, having to- we're, we would have to go this way anyway. So we're just really getting ahead of the competition here. Pretty sure that guy would get up once the scene happens. Okay, you wait there, and we'll do the puzzle. Alright, so this one is up. Up. Down. Up. And up. Wasting your time. I have already claimed this place for myself, which means you are trespassing, and I am very territorial. <laughs> Here they are, the Eliminators. Jeez, Rebecca. You should really do something about that monkey on your back. Oh, Rebecca. It just doesn't make sense. Do you honestly believe this to be the real identity of that crazy young man? Impossible. But if somehow it is true, then Umbrella will be finished. If the old conspiracy against Dr. Marcus is revealed, Mr. Spencer's career will be over. Not to mention ours, too. So, the time has come at last. What are you going to do? I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious. I refuse to abandon my work. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G-Virus. Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the STARS members into the mansion. Their superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> Fine. In the meantime, 
Something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. I'll find it, set it off, and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. Uh, oh. I can't. Hold on. Oh. Hang in there, Rebecca. Don't worry, I'm close by, Rebecca. Yeah, random chimp event. Rebecca! Hang on. I'll pull you up. Thank you. No mention it. Just keeping my word. We promised to cooperate with each other. Remember? This is Rebecca, over. Rebecca, this is Enrico. Have you managed to locate Cohen yet? Over. Rebecca, answer me. No, sir. I have not found him yet. I'll continue to search for him. Over. Rebecca. My first mission, and I've already disobeyed orders. So much for my great law enforcement career. Oh well, I probably won't live long enough to worry about it. Billy, I just need to know. I need to know the truth. Did you kill 23 people? I'm not going to judge you. I just want to know the truth. It was 27, not 23. That's the truth. It was around this time last year. Our unit was ordered to Africa to intervene in a civil war. Our mission was to raid a hideout of some guerrilla forces located deep inside the jungle. But the hideout was far away from our entry point. Some died from the heat. Others were killed by the enemy. Oh. In the end, only four of us survived. Only, there was no guerrilla hideout. What do you mean? The idiots in charge had us operating based on wrong information. But we couldn't just go back home empty-handed, oh no. Our leader ordered us to attack an innocent village. Get rid of them! Kill them all! Please, sir! Cease fire immediately! Shut up! Ugh. Does this count as a war crime? I'm pretty sure this counts as a war crime. No, 
So did you execute those innocent people? Forget about it. Doesn't matter anymore. That was then, this is now. Besides, you said you wouldn't judge me. I'm not judging you, but it does matter. Look, now my people think you killed those MPs in the van, but I don't think you did. It was those zombie dogs, right? When they attacked the van, you were able to escape. Isn't that right? You don't get it. I've only got two choices left. Either report to the Marines and serve out my sentence, or keep on running for as long as I can. That's all. Yeah, okay. Ok. Alright, so this is an interesting puzzle here. Six souls imprisoned within the chains of death. Rekindle the flames of life from the spirits of the weak. So basically, this puzzle wants you to sort out uh, the weakest to the... Uh, you you want to figure out what kills what. So we have to start with the deer. I stand tall on the earth with horns proudly displayed. to the wolf. My sharp wits allow me to bring down even the greatest horned beast. The horse. No amount of cunning can match the speed of my supple limbs. The tiger. Oh, it even gives you a hint there. The strong prey upon the weak, the law of the jungle. I am the king of all I survey. No creature can escape my grasp. And then the snake. I creep up on my victims in legless silence and conquer even the mightiest of kings with my poison. Right, and then finally the eagle. I dance freely through the air, capturing a legless prey. Done and dusted. <laughs> and finally you set yourself on fire. Exactly. Nothing in here? I'm surprised. Oh, you're gonna have to carry that, Rebecca. Alright, so there's our first tablet, the Unity one.
Hey, look, there's a box there. Why couldn't that have been an item box? Oh, wait. It's full of, full of various gadgets and gizmos. Can't put anything else in there. Is there nothing else in here to pick up? Is this just an empty room with two zombies? Hmm. Looks like it. Let's grab. I'll go. You wait here, Wesker. I'll go grab those herbs that I passed by earlier. Come. Okay. I think we're all set to go. I don't need this. Roger.
This is your chance. Okay. Okay, so in here we have Duraluminum case, something that you only ever see in Code Veronica. Interesting, interestingly enough. Okay. All right, so we got handgun parts here. Set of various parts consisting of a scope and a scope mount. Equipping these on a handgun will greatly increase the gun's, gun's firing precision. Now, I need to look up something real quick. I feel like the better gun is Rebecca's, her star's custom. But I could be wrong, so I want to look into it real quick. Okay, so maybe it doesn't actually matter which one I use the handgun parts on. But we'll still use it on Rebecca's handgun since it's right here. Custom handgun that's been fitted with a scope for greater accuracy. These modifications should make it easier to hit a target's weak point. Basically upping the crit rate. So there's Magnum Ammo. One whole Magnum bullet. I'll go check over there. Fine. Come on! 
fine. I'll go check over there. Fine. Oh boy. Hunters! Yeah, I brought the shotgun and the grenade launcher here. Just because I didn't think I'd have enough time to stare at him. I didn't think they'd give me the chance to. Come. Roger. So we should be done down here for now. In fact, we should just be done down here, period. Have grenade rounds currently? I do. Oh, 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 
Oh, shit. That's not good. Game crash. <laughs> yeah, I've saved several times. I saved just before the hunter fight. Resident Evil Zero. Okay, so the mod doesn't like it when you uh, try to exchange something with something already in the box. There is still evil in this place. Okay, so we're not terribly far back. It just means that we're going to have to do the fight with the hunters again. So got to do this room over again. I'll go check over there.
yeah, they definitely didn't give me enough time to stare at him. Oh well. At least that time we only used up some shotgun shells instead of grenade rounds. Come. Roger. I don't need this. Roger. Come. Roger. Okay, so now that we have the water key, there's, I think there's only one door that we have to open with it, and that's over here. I don't know how well this is gonna work out. I don't need this. Okay. So let's send Wesker in solo. I mean Belly. Okay, I'm not sure if I was actually doing damage while it was mid-transformation. Didn't seem like I was. 
But we got it. A lot of leechmen, or a mimicry marcuses around this area. Area. Oh. <laughs> You're still alive as just a pair of legs. I didn't know that could happen. Okay. So, if I was playing not Wesker mode, there's just one thing to grab in this room. And then you never have to come back in here again. The vice handle. Vice. And then just leave. And then you never have to come back in here, so you don't have to deal with the leech man. Alright, I already know more leechmen are going to spawn, so I might as well just deal with them first. best way to fight them is with Molotov cocktails, if you have to fight them. But, um, Billy actually sucks at throwing them. Rebecca throws them a lot more quickly, which is why I brought her with some Molotov cocktails, just, just in case. Come on! Oh, so this part's funny. Try to play the piano, Rebecca. Amazing job, Rebecca. But play it with Billy. I mean, she still can't play the piano properly in the remake until she practices. You stay here. Please pick up the... thank you. Alright, we got ourselves a battery. It's okay, just play the piano again.
come. Okay. The vice is gripping a tablet. The handle is missing, rendering the vice unusable. It's okay, we got the handle. Alright, there's the obedience tablet. Hello, Hidden Red Herb. Oh wait, no, it's not. It wasn't hidden. Never mind. So we're getting close to the point where if we weren't using the item box mod, this would be the point to um, start moving our items from the foyer and the conference room and start shifting them over to the observatory. Because once you set the three tablets in at the observatory, uh, the, the area lowers and you basically can't get to it from that same spot ever again. You have to go the long way around. Uh, and once that happens, if you have any items left behind, if you go the long... Well, if you're forced to go the long way around, there are eliminators on pretty much every path. And it makes backtracking to get those items a royal pain in the ass.
Yeah, builds character, right. That is a lot of Molotov cocktails. Okay, so now that we have the battery, I hope I can do it from this spot, otherwise we'll have to go all the way around again. I don't need this. Okay. Right, Rebecca, you wait there. Okay, good. Astro battery. Astro. In case you were wondering why we couldn't just leave out the entrance, the bridge has collapsed. Beyond the precipice, you see nothing but pitch darkness. So, yeah. Alright, and there's the final tablet. This is your chance. Okay. Man, it's, it's almost like I'm playing a real Resident Evil game now. Actually, this is the wrong way. The observatory is on this floor, but not for that door.
Okay, the three tablets are set. Yeah, another thing that this game is go it does really well is like the backgrounds. And especially like this shot right here. This looks sick. It it looks really good. I don't need this. Okay. Alright, so Rebecca needs to stand on this this thing here. And once again, we have to fight a boss solo. This is becoming a recurring theme with this game. Now, unfortunately, we are going to be fighting another pretty bad boss. I'm sad to say. In fact, this might the boss we're about to fight is uh, probably one of the worst bosses in the entire series. Hey, sometimes, uh, considering you can control your second character with the the right analog stick, it, it, it is doable. Alright, let's see if we can stare this thing down. If not, then we're in for a rough fight here. Hello, giant bat. Hey, nice. Goodbye. So yeah, when this thing gets to about half HP, little bats spawn in to mess up your auto-aim. So trying to aim at the boss 
with a weapon like this, when your auto target is going for the closest little flying bat near you, yeah, not good. It's a pretty terrible boss. I'd argue probably one of the worst in the series. So now, we can just fetch the hookshot right out of our item box, rather than having to go all the way back to go get it, or having to lug it around from moving my stuff around earlier. Don't touch, but fire. Okay. Also, this door is just open now, for reasons. But, um, without the item box mod on, this would be my new area to put- to drop all my items. Right here in the church. So, we beat the boss, we'll save again. And I think this will be a good place to stop. I'd say we're more than halfway done, we're probably more like... two-thirds of the way done with the game now. Because the next section will probably take like... 20 to 30 minutes tops and then it's the final area of the game. But, um, yeah. I'll be stopping here.